Mr. Good. Well, tonight was disappointing. Uh, yeah, I thought defensively, we competed pretty good, but our inability uh, to match them up front on the offensive side of the ball was a killer. You know, our offensive line got totally manhandled, and you know, you, we couldn't protect the passer. I think we had seven or eight sacks and had no time to throw the ball and really didn't run the ball effectively either. So uh, you know, we just really got whipped up front in the offensive line, and uh, that's uh, disappointing. Uh, but, you know, the Arkansas State's a really good team. Uh, that's the best we've played them over the last couple of years, and there's a reason they had a, I think, 15-game winning streak in the conference here coming in. They got, they've got good players. We still got a lot of work to do to catch up to a team like that. But, uh, you know, we'll rebound, go play Texas State next week and uh, get healthy and see if we can get that next win there. Uh, and then hopefully get back here uh, some home games again and play better in front of our home crowd. So any questions? It seemed like um, maybe early on there were some big plays possible down the field, but Tyler wasn't hitting them. Well, Tyler didn't have a chance. I mean, you can't hit them when you're laying on your back or, you know, <laughs> got people hitting you. Uh, I mean, the offensive line was an embarrassment. I mean, they were an embarrassment. So Tyler had no chance. Um, what was that also the case of trying to, trying to run the ball as well? Well, you can look at the yardage right there. I mean, what did we have? 32 runs for 35 yards. So, you know, when your offensive line gives up seven sacks and you're in second and long, third and long all day, it's hard to run the football. And when we did run it, we didn't block anybody up front either. So, uh, you know, this was this was just a total failure up front to compete with that with that team. Yeah, they won the field position game all night. And, uh, you know, we did pretty good early on uh, with the punts. And then, uh, you know, we didn't cover well. We got exposed there out in space. You know, they got some long returns on us. And then, uh, you know, there's a reason they're first in the conference in about every kicking category. And, and we're still not there. We still – we have too many wide receivers that have to be on our coverage teams because our defensive backs aren't good enough to be on coverage teams. And, that you know, that's recruiting. And we have to keep doing that. That's the area probably we're still behind recruiting-wise is, is defensive backs here. And uh, we certainly need – that would help us coverage-wise if we could get a few more of those guys on those specialty teams. Can you, I mean, can you talk about maybe something that you, that you tried to do um, as the game went on offensively to get the ball out quicker or, you know, just try to move the football? Yeah, Jason, we came into the game with that plan. You know, we tried to – you know, we gave our offense line the opportunity to cut block those guys. We were getting the ball out. We had screens. We had draws. We had all those type of things. And we just got whipped up front. I mean, it didn't matter what we did. Our, uh, you know, we had play actions that, you know, we were turning people completely loose or they were just beating us up front. So, uh, you know, there was nothing you could call. And I think we're better than that. That's what's really frustrating about it. I think our offensive line, I know our offensive line is better than that. I just think they, uh, they didn't bring it tonight. You had mentioned that they played a lot of guys. No. Actor, I guess, was no, no, not at all. Can you talk about your defense? I thought, especially in the first half, they really gave you guys a chance to hang in there. Played awesome in the first half. And, uh, you know, we just, when you only score 21 points, you're not going to win many games, you know, and you just, you got to score more than that and uh, give your defense, you know, a chance to get off the field, a chance to play with the lead at some point. You know, when we went up in, uh, 21 to whatever it was, 17 at that point, we needed to make some more plays right there and get some more points on the board, and it, it could have been a different game. But again, it was so hard to call plays tonight because there were so many long yardage situations. It just it was impossible. With all the scoring in the fourth quarter, do you think that like, the inability to keep the defense off the field is equal to that? Oh, yeah. I mean, our defense, I think we had probably four straight three and outs there in the fourth quarter. Eventually, our defense just wore out. And, uh, you know, that those. That, that whole thing was just totally on the offense's inability to move the football against them. Were they better defensively than you thought? No, they're uh, about about the same guys we played last year. You know, they're they're about the same. I, what makes them good is the front four. The secondary and linebackers are just average guys. You know, I mean, you know, we got behind them on plays and hits plays when we had time, but the problem is you don't ever have time because they don't have to blitz. 
those four, and they didn't blitz all night. I mean, those four whipped our five all night, and that was the different difference in the game. Yeah, I thought OJ played played well, and he's played well really all season. You know, OJ's been a real spark for us. He's a, he's an emotional guy that really brings a lift to. Um, yeah, I thought thought he played great, and uh, you know, just disappointed we couldn't get our running backs going in this game. You know, they had been giving up some rushing yards. You know, and that's disappointing that we didn't even block better in the run than what we did. Yeah, again, they just they owned the line of scrimmage. Yep. The, one, the one adjustment they seemed to make in the second half too was to start to start putting those real quick passes, number fourteen, take advantage of that of what cushion he had. Yeah, and they and they do a lot of that. We were playing a lot of man coverage to try to take that away. Uh, yeah, I thought you know for the most part we did a pretty good job with that. I I really think. You know, the defense's problems in the second half stem from being on the field too much, uh, more than anything. Uh, you know, I really felt like uh, overall defensively, we, we've come a long way defensively, long way. OK, thanks, guys. How y'all doing? Mm, no, no, sir, not really. I, I mean, yes, sir, I was because in the first half we were moving the ball just fine. You know, um, going into halftime we were averaging like five yards a pop um, from the running back position. So it was kind of surprising coming out of the second half, um, not really being able to move it too much. But. Oh, they have an outstanding defensive line, and we knew that coming in. But um, they just played a lot of four down with a one one uh, backer box, just letting the, the middle backer just kind of roam. And um, those out those outside backers were over the um, number two receiver, and they were just kind of a heavy run support. So they just um, – it was a five-man box, but at the same time, it, it was like a seven-man box. So. No, nah, not really. No, nah, they weren't. They weren't. But like I said, um, early in the game, you know, the first half we were we were moving the ball um, just fine, especially in the run game. So, uh, yeah, I can't really say too much about that. Um, just playing it between um, Arkansas State Troy and uh, Arkansas State. You know, we're you know you played the three best teams in the conference. So where where do you see your guys yourself? Well, uh, the last four are um, very winnable. You know, I mean, I feel like the, those three, Troy, App State, and um, this one were very winnable. But um, these last three uh, are very winnable. And um, it's going to come down to us. You know, it, it has nothing to do with the other teams that, that are on the schedule. It's just going to come down to us. And um, can we not beat ourselves and just go out and win the game? Um, what are you saying? Was it what, what can you repeat I that? Thought, I guess was, was it shocking? I guess that a team can hold you guys to 21 points. Um, yeah, 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 we can bounce back and be fine, but uh, yeah, it, it was a little surprising, you know, because we, we do consider ourselves a high powered offense, and um, to be a high powered offense, you can't have nights like this, you know, so. It was a little surprising. Um, down the stretch, Larry, um, it was mentioned that you've become a leader uh, now that you're a senior. Yes, sir. What you plan to do on and off the field um, to improve the new slash old way? Um, just keep everybody um, on the same page. Don't don't let any uh, turmoil come in the locker room, and just just realize that we're still in a great position. You know, uh, the season's not over, and um, the the good part about it is, since I've been here, we've never been this late in the season playing for something, you know, so um, 
just remind the guys that we're still playing for something. You know, the, the season's not over. Even though uh, this was a tough loss and we would have loved to have this one, um, we're still capable of winning three games and reaching our ultimate goal. And everyone feels that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We did. We did. Uh, they uh, put us in, in a lot of quick protection to uh, slow them down and help uh, Tyler get rid of the ball faster rather than just sitting back there. So, yeah, we uh, they start using us a lot in uh, pass protection. Okay, it's, it's good that yeah, yeah. If you stop one, you know, somebody else is coming. So it was like, it's just, they, they have some good D-liners. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. You know, uh, you can play one of the top offenses in the conference and um, and play them good. You know, really good, actually. You know, I just feel like we didn't help the defense out um, as much as we should have um, offensively. You know, uh, and that that helps a lot. You know, when when the offense is helping the defense out, you know, you never know. If some of those points that are on the board for Arkansas State may not be there. You know, if we're just giving them some help. So um, I, I feel like the defense.